Now, everything that goes up must come down and everything that has a good usually has a bad as well. That's why today I'm going to talk to you about the good, the bad and the ugly about the magic key. Let's get straight into it. So magic keys, that is exactly what this is. And this is, don't get me wrong, this is an amazing tool. Whoever came up with this, brilliant. Congratulations to you because this is amazing. What it does is that in trading you pretty much have to enter your risk you have to calculate your stop loss your lot size all of that stuff before you enter a trade you need your lot size your lot size is not basically how much you're putting on the line how much you're risking the bigger your lot size the more money you're risking on a trade so you have to calculate this it's not super long the natural way to do it is that you need your stop loss and you type this in into like a some sort of fx calculator and then it'll spit out the lot size and this is what you put in on mt5 or mt4 before you make a trade the difference is with magic keys now all you have to do is click on a single button so you can do this in a second you see your trade you open car boom you already have your numbers there no matter where you move your stop loss to no matter where you move your tp to whatever adjustments you make if you choose that you want to risk $500 every single trade, every single movement that you make will always be $500. There's no difference whatsoever. So that is why Magic Key is super, super good. You don't have to, you no longer have to worry about calculating lot size. Now, what that means to you is that you would not miss trades because some people do go through the fact that you miss trades because you're trying to calculate lot size and stuff. And if you're a scalper, you know that things do move quick sometimes, so you will no longer miss trades. Secondly, what this did for me is that it helps me to perfect my risk management. But I'll get into this later on in the video. Now, this is what it looks like, right? It is super, super clean. I like the colors. This is the version three. This is the most recent one that they have. It is just, I like the material of it. It feels very, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels like it has decent weight to it. You know, it is good. That is one of the benefits that comes from it. It's also got a little battery indicator literally right there. So that also works. And the difference between the version two and the version three is just how you connect it. With the version two, I believe on MacBooks, you've had to download one software first and link it somehow and then get it to work just with MacBooks. If you're on PC, then you can do it directly, I believe. But now with version three on MacBooks, all you need is literally a single USB and it works directly. So regarding how to set this up, if you do want a video for that, be sure to let me know down in the comments and I'll have this for you. But let's get straight into the good. One of the best things I like is just quick execution. It is super, super amazing that now I no longer have to go back to the days of having to calculate load size. Those days are gone for me now. It's over, it's behind me and we're looking into a new year, new me, new beginning, basically. You get the idea, right? I never have to really use this again. Now, I've had this for a while. It's, it's been amazing. I've used it now for several months and I definitely don't regret it. The second is that it is very, very, very easy to use after you set it up. After having this set up, it's very straightforward. The two buttons I use the most is literally open cow, boom, and then I move my stop loss and my TP to where it is, and then I literally open trade. There are these two buttons, click on them a lot. Most of these I don't really use because it's not necessary for me, like I don't really close half, but literally you can do things like close half and it closes half in seconds. You can do close custom, which you can set it to close 1%, 100%, 50%, 65%. You can literally do that as well. You can close the full trade. You can move your stop loss to entry like this with a single button. But the best one of all, this is the biggest thing that it has done for me. And that is calculating lot size for indices. Up till today, I still don't really know how you calculate lot size for indices precisely. The reason for this is that when you use different brokers, their indices calculation for lot size changes. It's weird, right? You can use a single broker, one lot for NAS 100 is a ton of money. And another broker, it's not. So with different platforms, it's also the same thing. It's different prices, different values. So you never really know. So how I used to do it before is that on NAS 100, I'll first of all enter 0.01, see how it moves. Then I'll enter like one lot, see how it moves, see how much is on the line from like a, a one to one. Then I'll know how much roughly one lot is. Then eventually I'll figure out that, okay, cool. If I want to be risking $500, for example, I'll know that this is roughly the amount I'm going to risk. So it's a mess. It's kind of like a guesswork until you figure it out. But now, no longer i don't have to do that anymore literally for indices boom for whatever it is boom so that for me is the biggest change now i can literally calculate anything for whatsoever it is that i'm trading i even started looking into btc usd not too long ago and that as well boom within seconds it just calculates it for me i never have to do it again by myself but now we have the bad first the setup can be very very tricky setting this up initially i had to watch a ton of videos out there it wasn't making sense i had like 
it was annoying of course you just need a single usb yes but i mean setting it up on mt5 like you need this little blue blue thing to be in the corner i didn't know how to get that up i don't know how to set it up for it to work in the first place so it took me you know a bit a little a couple hours to have it all set out when it did to you change the center when it did to you save it have everything all done but once you set this up then you're good but the setup definitely isn't isn't for the weak hearted you have to kind of put in a bit of work just to make it you know work exactly how you want it to the second is battery life now for some reason bro i don't know why or if it's because mine is it's not even always linked like it turns off by itself after a while right it does but the battery still drains i don't know even when it's off sometimes it's like when i'm ready to trade now i see a setup i turn it on ready to enter it turns on for a second but because the battery is low it goes off again so it's like i keep having to spam like open trade open trade and sometimes you enter multiple trades and it's just it's kind of annoying when the battery is low but the battery seems to be low most of the time so these days i think i kind of know how to manage it i think maybe it's just me doing it wrong but these days it's like when i'm done trading i close it completely close you know mt5 everything so it's no longer like synced you know passively anymore because i feel like something is draining the battery unknowingly so but plus this little battery life indicator thing is just rubbish i like it, it shows up but then it doesn't mean anything i don't even know what on earth it means it, it lights up green it, it doesn't light up red when the battery is low so it's like why is the battery indicator here and there for me anyway i don't get it i don't get why it's there because when the battery's low i don't know when the battery's full i don't know and now another thing is i mean this isn't really bad it's kind of a minor thing but it's like it's now another thing that i have to take it real with me because i'm so used to the fact that now i don't have to calculate lock size anymore so i have to take this physical thing with me it's not massive it's not a big deal it's literally tiny right but it is another thing you have to worry about of course there is the digital version though if you do want that that like, you don't actually have to take this you can buy a digital version that'll be on your screen that works as well but i just prefer the the, the solid thing now the ugly this is one of the biggest reasons why i really hate it and i just want to throw it away sometimes but the first one would be that support does not exist bro zero literally if you have any issues bro just firm it and figure out yourself that is why this is where like content creators come in if you need any help you better find it on youtube if it's not on youtube then you're pretty much finished or maybe on some random forum out there but there's no support like you can holler them as much as you want most of the time they're not responding it's like they, they just non-existent the product is out there now and that is it you're not gonna get any help you gotta figure out yourself that is literally the only ugly thing to be fair it's just it, it was hard man because at one point i had an issue with it wasn't calculated indices i would try to enter a trade on indices and the thing is just giving me error 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 and the error didn't even make sense the error didn't really help me too much until i realized that i had to like open the error folder even more and then had some other information then one little thing clicked it was it's just it was a pain you know for like a couple weeks i literally couldn't calculate indices i still had to figure that one out myself but besides that this is an amazing tool hey if you want a perfect risk management trust me you want to get this it is the biggest 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 thing it's not super expensive either they have like a sale most of the time i believe as well like 30 percent off so this isn't a promo video whatsoever but i'll just recommend you get it it is definitely been very very useful for me so that's been it for me if you did find any value in the video be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace